Today, I'm going to discuss Aristotle's theory of change using my pets, Charlie and Jim. First off, Aristotle identifies three parts of change. Two are contraries and one is the subject. The theory states that the change occurs in the contraries while the subject is a constant. Charlie will demonstrate the first type of change, which is accidental change, and Jim will demonstrate the second type of change, which is substantial change. Here, Charlie can be seen as a stationary dog changing to a moving dog. This is what Aristotle calls accidental change. Stationary and non-stationary, or running, are accidental predicates. This means that they have an accidental relationship to Charlie. Accidental predicates are things that are present to Charlie. Just because the predicates change doesn't mean that Charlie ceases to be Charlie when they do. This is Charlie standing. And this is Charlie running. These are what Aristotle calls compounds, standing Charlie and running Charlie. In an accidental change, Charlie is becoming something from something. The change begins and ends with compounds. This is Jim. Well, this will be Jim. This is Aristotle's second type of change called substantial change. This he calls becoming something simply. Unlike the first type of change, this change only ends in a compound. The two contraries needed for Aristotle's theory of change are unformed cat matter and formed cat matter. The subject is cat matter. This change creates a substance, namely my cat Jim. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed pictures of my cat and dog and learning about Aristotle's theory of change. No animals were harmed in the making of this video.